Vincent Van Gogh. Everybody knows this guy was crazy as shit, but he wasn't the fun, shave your head, perpetual childhood kind of crazy that we all know and love. No, he was the depressed, cut your ear off kind of crazy, which is now even more legendary than his paintings, which are frankly kind of scribbly. So why'd he do it? Well, reasons are always a pretty generous description for shit like this. Basically, the dude was depressed AF, drunk on absinthe, cause that's what you did back then, and so he figured, why not? Probably looked like a good idea when that green fairy was floating all around him. So he did it. But he didn't just cut that ear off. No, that would be too realist for him. Instead, he went out and found a good use for that shit afterwards. He was like, I know, I'll cut my ear off and give it to some bitch as an engagement ring, and then she'll be so impressed that she'll have to marry me. Although, he probably said it in Dutch or whatever. And so that's what he did. Sliced that ear off, gave it to a 17-year-old prostitute, and then proposed to her. Amazingly, she passed. And then, she popped her own question, and the answer to that was yes. So poor Vincent, he got his ass into a hospital and didn't remember a goddamn thing. The whole thing had to be explained to him the next day when he woke up. This dude basically lived out the plot of all those hangover movies like 70 years before Vegas or Thailand was even invented. And by the way, the doctor that treated him could end up being the highest paid doctor in history. At least until them Beverly Hills plastic surgeons rolled up, who I think we can all agree do a really good job. Cause Van Gogh gave him a portrait as payment, but Mr. Art Critic didn't like it and gave that shit away for nothing. Worth 50 million dollars. Smooth move, Ferguson. Unfortunately, stories like these are always better told than lived. As you can see, this dude really was depressed as fuck his whole life. And finally, that shit just caught up with him. Vincent Van Gogh killed himself at the age of 37, leaving behind almost 900 oil paintings that really changed the game. Poor dude. Oh, and just so you know, the Hollandaise claim you're supposed to pronounce his name Van Gogh. But fuck them, they're Dutch. Like, subscribe, pay me. Oh, and watch my other shit.